guys, thank you for watching my channel. This video is an update on the Beth Bender Beauty Cat Eye Stencil. I did a video a while ago and I will um, put it right here if you want to see it. It is a first impressions review and I did a demo on this. Um, this video is just to update you on how much I use the product, if I think that it is really worth buying, and if it's worth all the hype. So keep watching if you want to know more about the cat eye stencil. I got this stencil maybe four or five months ago. You can see when I posted that video, it was like the first time that I used it. So um, since then, to be honest, I have had this in my drawer and I have barely used it. I have used it a few times, but not as much as I was hoping I would use it because I've had a couple bad experiences where I have had my makeup completely ready to go and all I needed to do was eyeliner and mascara. And I went for the stencil and I didn't place it properly or exactly in the right spot and the angle wasn't right or it wasn't close enough to my lash line and it got product um, in the place where I didn't want it. So it's made me cautious. Um, I do know with practice on placement that this product would be super useful, but since this product is supposed to help people that aren't necessarily confident in their winging liner skills, it makes me hesitate on recommending it to beginners which is sad because that's what the product I believe is marketing towards. So I haven't used it that much because I'm scared to ruin my makeup, to be honest. But I know if I practiced, I would use it more. And I did use it before filming. As you can see, I have a wing liner now, and you will also be able to see that in my thumbnail. But I was a little hesitant on using it because I was scared of ruining my makeup again, but it, I, it was fine because um, I do practice. And the way that I recommend practicing if you do end up buying this product is to practice before you wash your makeup off at night or to practice before putting it on or just like on a face with no makeup and to practice with the eyeshadow. Make sure you use eyeshadow because I have tried to use liquid and I have tried to use cream and um, eyeshadow is by far the easiest to outline and then you can fill in with liquid if you want because the eyeshadow does tend to move around a lot more than a liquid or a cream and it's kind of scary because you could smear it a lot easier so I do like to set mine with a liquid actually after I get the outline with my eyeshadow. And as I did in that first video that I made, I use most of the time a lighter shadow that will just outline the um, cat eye and then I go in and I fill it with a liquid liner. Um, this product I think is good for people who can dedicate the time to figuring out how they can use it and to practice. Um, but for people who just want to slap on that cat eye really quickly, um, it's not necessarily going to be as easy as it seems in some of the other YouTube videos, which is another reason why I wanted to make this video because it has a lot of hype, but it's not as easy. They make it seem so simple and Mistakes can be made and your makeup can be ruined, but with practice, it is worth it. So I'm kind of in the middle on recommending it. It depends on who I'm talking to. I hope you guys found this video useful, and if you do, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you agree with me that this product can be a little uh, tricky for beginners, or if you just have any questions, or anything, um, I'll be happy to answer those and hear from you. Also subscribe to my channel and I will have more videos to come and I will see you guys later. Bye!
here is the palette that I just got yesterday from Sephora. It is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette for contouring. And you can see on the back that it shows all the colors that come in the palette. And they